Well, I did it again. I bought a super cheap and super crappy computer. Let's see what we can do with it. You never know what's coming your way with Ladybug Adventures. I bring you mouse traps, archery videos, car cam videos, DIY projects, and computer builds. Don't forget to subscribe. I always try to find something on garbage days, but after being unsuccessful for a while, I decided to try Kijiji. My search was simply desktop and the max price of $20. There's a lot of junk, but then I happened on an ad for this Dell Optiplex 760 ultra small form factor with Windows 10. Unfortunately, the ad came down before I could get a screenshot, but here are some examples of ads that I found recently. In the end, what I ended up with was a Core 2 Duo E7300 clocked at 2.6 GHz. It had 2 GB of DDR2 RAM at 667 MHz and Windows 10 on a 3.5 inch 160 GB hard drive. Now this is over 10 years old and upgrades are limited. It only supports up to 4 GB of DDR2 memory, 800 MHz. Quad cores are not likely to work with this chipset as far as I've read, and there are no slots for a GPU. My thought on this was that there was no point in upgrading the CPU as the performance gains for the price would be minimal, especially for the fact that a quad core may not work with it. As for the RAM, however, it might be worth it. 4 GB DDR2 RAM on eBay is about $12 to $13. However, if I do change the OS to a lighter system, a RAM upgrade may not be necessary. Booting it up worked, but Windows 10 boot up was brutally slow. Videos lagged and any programs or pages were painfully uncomfortable to wait for. If you watch any of my previous videos, and you can look at the top right hand corner, you know what is coming next. Linux distros. I'll give you the quick version of what happened. I knew the hardware wasn't great, but I tried Ubuntu 18.04 LTS, and that was about as slow as Windows 10. Next were the lighter Linux distros. In the past, I found Xbuntu or Zubuntu uh, and Lubuntu have had some annoying bugs, and I couldn't get a consistent experience. So I've heard about Linux Lite, and I decided to try Linux Lite 4.2. I know that others recommend Manjaro or Mint. I've used Mint before and great Manjaro I have not used yet, but I've never used this Linux Lite before and I wanted to see what it was like. And let me tell you, it was obviously no rocket, but everything I've thrown at it for the average person's daily use has been stable. Streaming on Kodi, YouTube videos, movies, opening multiple web pages, and productivity on Google Docs, no problem. Ubuntu and Linux Lite are my main operating systems for daily use. This script is even written on my 13-year-old laptop that also uses Linux Lite. Not bad for this old hardware. Because it's working well on 2 gigs of RAM, I just decided to keep it that way. So the total for this fully functional and working computer that the majority of people can use for their everyday use is only $20. Could this be a gaming computer? No way. But. I'd say I can't go wrong with this thing. I'm simply amazed at what the right operating system and really old hardware can still do. If you're a student or just someone without a lot of money and still need something for school or work, you could get something like this desktop or even an older laptop, put an operating system like Linux Lite on this, and it should still be able to function fairly well, potentially for years. Again, I stress, for most people this will do, and paying $400 or more for a computer that rarely sees its potential is a total waste of money. Come over to the cheap side with Ladybug Adventures.